Hey YouTube, this is Prince from Desi Programmer. Welcome to the first video of this new and amazing series, which is what can we do with. And in this video, we are going to talk about what can we do with Python. Well, let's first talk about Python's history. And the credit for Python goes to Guido Juan Rossum and its implementation started in late 1989s. Well, since the last half decade, Python is growing fast and it is stable in the list of top programming languages. Well, the reason for its popularity can be understood from its feature. Python has many great features and some of them are that it's dynamically typed, which means variables in Python are not bounded to certain data types. Python has less syntax, which means the same code for certain thing in other programming languages will take more lines than in Python. Just take a look at this hello world program in different programming languages. Python is cross platform, which means your code will execute on Windows, Mac and Linux as well. You don't have to write machine dependent or architecture dependent code. Well, there are many other features of Python which make it great, but the best one is that it has a great library support. The PyPI, which is a Python packaging index, had so many libraries that you can get a library for almost anything in Python. And this feature of Python makes it suitable for almost everything out there. Now before we proceed, let's first talk about some giant tech and non-tech companies which trust Python. Well, the list is very big, but to name a few, we have Instagram, Amazon, Facebook, Spotify, Google, Coda, Netflix, NASA, Dropbox, and Uber. Well, now let's get back to the main point of this video, which was what we can actually do with Python. And I'm talking about the main implementations on Python. And when this part comes, we can't stop talking about machine learning. Yeah, great frameworks and libraries like TensorFlow, PyTorch, Pandas, NumPy, SkyPy, Scikit-Learn, Theano help us to implement machine learning and Python. And this implementation of Python has give Python a boost up in the tech industry. Python is even used for web development. Frameworks like Django, Flask, Web2Py and Turbo Gears can be used to get a greater result with Python. The best part about these frameworks is that you can start production in record time. Giant companies like Instagram, Reliant Django and many other companies use Python framework too. We can even use Python for desktop app development. A simple library of Python, which is Tinker, can be used to write desktop apps in record time. These apps are cross-platform and are decent. You can even make these apps look more beautiful by using PyQt, PySight, WX Python, Kiwi, and much more. And I can't stop talking about Electron.js because you can use Electron.js alongside of Python to get a web-like UI which is a beautiful UI because we will be able to use CSS and then the backend of Python. We can even use a framework named Eel to get the web-like UI along with Python for our desktop applications. Python is used extensively for web scrapping. Libraries like Request, Beautiful Soup, XML, ScrapPy which ain't directly connected to web scrapping but a collective use of them is used a lot in the tech industry for scrapping data out of the web. Python, because of its extensive library support, is very ideal language for hacking and cryptography. And also Python, because of its library, which can bind C and C++ code together, Python is even a great tool for scripting. There are multiple other libraries in Python too, which are worth taking a look at. And I'm talking about Pillow, which is an amazing library. Twisted which is an event-driven network engine in Python, Pygame using which you can create simple 2D games in Python although Pygame is actually a platform independent graphic audio and input library but you can use it for game development which is just 2D game. Even greater frameworks like Piglet can be used for game development and for visual rich applications. Well that's it for this video, the next video we'll be talking more about the definite use of certain programming languages, I mean Java, JavaScript, C, C++ and much more. Well till then keep watching, keep loving and keep coding.